So today, I'm going to show you how to make your own pressure bleeder. Now, this tool is very useful uh, for bleeding hydraulic systems in vehicles. Um, in this particular case, I'm going to be using it to bleed the clutch hydraulic system in my Pontiac Fiero. And uh, you can buy uh, pressure bleeding kits or vacuum bleeding kits uh, online or in, uh, I guess, some auto parts stores. Um, but they can run upwards of $100 or so. Uh, so this do-it-yourself kit, um, basically you can make it for, say, $20, $25 with parts you'd commonly find at a hardware store. Uh, so a couple of things that you're going to need. Um, you're going to need a spare, first of all, a spare cap um, for your, uh, whatever your master cylinder is. If you're using it to bleed your brakes or bleed your clutch, um, basically you're going to need a spare cap. Uh, you're also going to need uh, two of these brass fittings. Um, now one of them is going to have to have a barbed end uh, with a male uh, thread end and the other one is going to need a female uh, threaded end, uh, an internal thread, um, where these two uh, will mate. Um, you're also just going to need a flat washer, a regular o-ring, and uh, the other couple things here are um, you're going to need some clear vinyl tubing um, that will slide over top of the uh, barb fitting. Um, these fitting or this fitting here, uh, the barb end is actually three eighths of an inch. Um, so you're going to need uh, clear vinyl tubing uh, with an inner diameter of three eighths of an inch. Um, you can get this this tubing at you know same thing local hardware store. Actually, a lot of this stuff I picked up at uh, Home Depot. Um, and the cap itself, actually, they don't make them anymore for the Fiero that I'm, I'm making this kit for. Um, but uh, So I actually had this one 3D printed. Um, but for most cars, you can just go to the wrecker um, and pick one up. Or maybe even uh, like a Dorman's product lines or whatever. Uh, they might carry it. Um, so just look it up online, do some research, see what you can find, go to your parts store and, and ask if they have any behind the counter. Um, and oh, the other thing you're going to need, of course, uh, right here, you can see it. It's a, uh, it's one of those uh, chemical um, pressure sprayers um, that basically just has a uh, top that you can pump. Um, so you're going to need that. And this is actually where you're going to build pressure and put the actual brake fluid in. Um, so... Of course, you're going to need one of those. They're somewhere between $10 to $15 or whatever, and the rest of the stuff probably adds up to another $10. Uh, so actually, it's quite simple. I'll put all of the, uh, any, anything like the fittings, I'll put the part numbers in the video description down below. Um, so basically, from there, uh, let's get started. Let's just get these out of the way. Basically, you're going to start um, with your cap. You'll notice that this one has a hole in it. Um, this is a hole that I drilled and this is why you're going to need a spare cap. Um, so you basically just drill a hole uh, the same size, well slightly larger, than the male uh, threaded end on your barbed fitting. Um, what's going to happen is this is going to actually be uh, inserted into the cap. Mine's a nice tight fit so I can actually thread it uh, right in. Actually, sorry, well, I've got to go back here for a second. Um, first, you're actually going to want to slide the washer over top. Then, you're going to want to thread that fitting in to the cap until it's snug. So it's a snug fit in there. And you can basically see that it's sticking out a little bit on the other side. Uh, this cap here, it's kind of hard to tell because everything's gray. Um, but it actually has a little gasket in there that I've also drilled a hole in. Uh, after that, quite simple, just going to fit the o-ring over top really easy and lastly you're going to take the female uh, fitting and you're going to thread that over top and basically compress the o-ring to provide a nice tight seal remember this system is going to be under pressure so you want everything to fit nice and tight and you don't want any leaks last thing you want to do is spray brake fluids it it everywhere. Uh, so there you have it. That's quite simple. It's a cap and pretty much that's the hardest part. Um, after that all you're going to do is actually when you get this thing uh, to your vehicle um, you can obviously 
take the old cap off, put this one on, thread it onto your master cylinder. Uh, from there, you're going to take your uh, vinyl tubing, uh, put it over the, the uh, press it over the barbed end, push it all the way down. Uh, you might even want to install a small hose clamp or something like that just to uh, just to uh, keep the vinyl tubing on there. And the other end of the tubing um, will go over, let's bring this down here. Uh, the other end of the tubing will go over uh, the sprayer end of the uh, chemical fertilizer or whatever sprayer. Um, now you might, the other thing too is actually with these with these ends, I don't know if you can see it here, uh, but there's a little plastic fitting in there that probably changes the spray pattern uh, to like a mist. Um, if you can just pull that out, remove it, discard it, you don't need it. Uh, so yeah, the other end of your uh, vinyl tubing will fit over there. Again, press it over top, install a hose clamp, and you're good to go. Um, so basically that connects the uh, pressure sprayer uh, to the actual master cylinder. Um, you'll, what you'll do then is you'll pressurize uh, the, the uh, sprayer uh, by pumping uh, the top. So you'll pump it up, create pressure. Again, don't overdo it. Um, your master cylinder there is probably not made to be under pressure. Uh, so you'll probably don't want to go any greater than maybe say 5 PSI. And now that you've created pressure, um, what you can do is you can take some smaller uh, vinyl tubing. This one's a quarter inch, um, and you can actually put this uh, over. Uh, in, in my case, I'm going to be putting it over the uh, bleeding valve on the slave cylinder at the back of the car, uh, where the transmission is. And um, my this tubing will actually be long enough, so I can actually do this with one person. You don't need two people to do this. Um, I can take this whole system to the back of the car, uh, and using the button on the uh, chemical sprayer, I can actually release the pressure and push the brake fluid uh, through my clutch system and to the back of the vehicle uh, where the slave cylinder is and the bleeder valve is. Um, and I'll take that, that uh, crack that bleeder valve open with the um, smaller uh, vinyl tubing um, over top of it. And I can just empty uh, and, and purge that into a, like a glass jar or something. And, and theoretically it should push air out of the system um, and then basically shut your uh, bleeder valve on the uh, slave cylinder and you'll have yourself a, uh, a bled uh, clutch system. And like I said, you can do this on your brakes, on your clutch system, whatever hydraulic system uh, you want. Um, and it's a handy tool for, say, under $25. And it's a lot easier than, you know, buying one for, say, $150. You just make your own. So hopefully that was helpful. Like I said, all the parts, numbers, descriptions, etc. Uh, for the fittings, I'll put uh, in the video description below, and I hope that helps you. Thanks for watching my video.